Hello and welcome to another exclusive Good E-Reader video. This is Nick. And this is Marcus. Today we have the Elocity A7 Internet Tablet. We're going to go over some specs here. And Marcus, why don't you start us off? So this is the very first uh, tablet of this year that Elocity has put out. We first saw these and you might have as well during our CES coverage when we were in Vegas and Elocity had a big booth and this is the first entry of the Elocity A7. This is the 4 gig model. Uh, within about a month they'll put out subsequent models. The only thing that really will change is the built-in memory so it'll range from 4 gigs which will be the lowest to about 256 gigs which will be the highest. Um, how about we give you some specs on this device before we give you sort of our hands-on experience. Alright, so starting with the processor, it has an NVIDIA Tegra 2 T250 1 GHz processor. It's got 512 MB DDR2 RAM. It is currently running Android 2.2 OS and it is uh, upgradable definitely in the future. This particular model we have has a 4 gig high-speed internal flash memory. The A7 is going to remain consistent with all its models to have a 7-inch capacitive touchscreen, 800 by 480. It has 0.5 watt stereo speakers. Maybe you want to show the speakers there. Yeah, the speakers are on the side, so there's you can see a speaker mm -hmm. here and a speaker there. And during these tests, we'll actually show you. Uh, from our experiences so far, the speaker is actually pretty solid. <laughs> Now, as for the camera, it does have a it does have a camera. It is a 1.3 megapixel webcam, which is very good camera to have on the front of the device. It's right if here. You, if you would notice, there is no camera for taking pictures any bigger than 1.3 megapixels anywhere on the device, especially not on the back. So it's yeah, it's a front-facing camera, Definitely. mainly used for taking pictures or doing video conferencing, such as using Skype or programs like that. It does have a microphone, so if you need to do any sort of voice chat or any sort of applications that require voice recognition, it does have a microphone on it. It does have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, so the standard. It has Wi-Fi, the pretty standard 802.11 um, Wi-Fi. It has uh, Bluetooth 2.1, USB 2.0 port. Now it does not have a mini or a micro USB, it simply just has a USB 2.0. So you can see here it's a full USB. Now we tried having a USB to USB cable plugging one end in here and one end to our computer and it won't accept that. So the only way that you can uh, add content to devices via a flash drive so you'd simply put this in here and you can actually load files right off of it but right now that there's no way that we found out to actually copy the files that are on here to the device it does have a micro SD card slot so that's always handy it has t full 1080p output uh, via HDMI so that's a that's a very that's a very strong point it does have a docking port on the bottom Although uh, this is a personal reason, but I, I am I, I personally do not agree with the tab completely coming off. I would have liked to see some sort of attachment, either a plastic or a rubber attachment, to keep the piece from disappearing on you. But you know that's just that's just my personal. Well, but preference. then again, I mean, if 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 it was like say like this, True, how would it, it how way. would it effectively dock in a port, right? For sure. I mean, if it was they could they have if like they a had, slider or something exactly, like uh, that. Exactly. Maybe a hard door rather yeah. than the rubber door would would have been great. But oh, I agree. you lost it. There it is. Okay. And for a quick dimensions, it's eight point two inches uh, length. So like so, it is four point eight width and half an inch thick. And it only weighs 1.02 pounds, so pretty much one pound. So yeah, it's very light. It, it's very light. Uh, what I like about this device, just uh, since we mentioned a lot of the hardware features, is that this light actually is on. Uh, many tablets actually don't have any indication on the device itself whether the hardware is on. I do like the fact that all of the ports on the device have actual these little removable slaps except for the docking station and this is good because 
Most of the time when you have tablets, especially a tablet that's seven inches, you're going on the go. And so, you know, you're at the beach on holiday, commuting, so it's good that nothing's going to spill, no dust will be able to get in there. So that that's a huge plus. Also, it does do micro SD as far as being able to enhance the memory. So you can go up to about 32 gigs doing it like that. And again, it has a slot. This is your headphone jack. It too kind of swivels. Headphone quality is really good so far. And I do like the design. I mean, it's a, it's a really sleek and, and elegant design. Um, it does have a hard reset button right here too. So what we found, especially because this device supports Adobe Flash, that when we were playing some Flash games, it would crash on us. And so we actually had to stick a little needle inside of there to reboot the device. So yeah, browsing, let's try the internet experience right here. This device does use Adobe Flash. So what that really means is that you can do Flash-based content, uh, Flash games. You can get the full uh, internet experience here. And I want to sort of show you how it'll play embedded YouTubes, which right out of the box is, is pretty solid. So many tablets that we've played around with actually don't play YouTube videos, embedded ones, right out of the box, nor do they have uh, the ability to... Hey everybody, welcome to another so you can see video review. This is Marcus. It's playing and the YouTube video straight up. So that's good. Uh, also, one of the so things that we kind of like e about this is that it does do pinching and zooming, but only in the web browser. So you can't really pinch and zoom applications or anything like that you can only pinch and zoom within the web browser. So it's pretty handy. And because it runs Android 2.2, uh, you can install other web browsers such as Opera uh, or such as Dolphin HD if you have a certain preference for that. Let's talk a bit about the apps. It does come with a fair number of apps such as Adobe Reader, Aldaico, a few Amazon, different portals to shop to buy MP3s. Uh, it also has another app store here called GetJar. And so right out of the box, this is Stream TV GetJar. And Stream TV is the company behind Elocity. So it allows you to get games. It allows you to get Skype, Angry Birds, Score Mobile, Nimbus, eBuddy, uh, MSN Messenger, Facebook. So you can get a ton of apps here, which is really good. It also is loaded with e-reader apps. It does actually come with the Kindle application here. And you know we're all about e-readers here. Yeah. So we like our e-reader apps. Being a good e-reader, a lot of people say with tablets... Um, why do you guys focus on the e-reader aspect so much? Mainly this is because at Goody Reader we're, we're all about books and so we always kind of put that sort of twist on all these devices because a lot of people and more so than you would expect you know do a lot of reading whether it's news or whether it's books so you can see that the NVIDIA Tegra 2 processor is really fast page turn speeds are super fast. This is one of the fastest page turn speeds that we've seen on our last couple reviews here, at least out of the last six reviews we've done. Totally. Very quick page turning speeds. Really doesn't take you out of the experience of reading a book when you don't have to wait for the page to refresh. Fully. So mm -hmm. not only does it come with the Kindle app, but also I mentioned it comes with Eldaiko Adobe Reader to read PDF files, and it also comes with FB Reader. So it definitely allows you to be able to uh, read books from other bookstores as well as be able to sideload your own books in again with the USB. Let's just take a look at scenes as though we're covering apps right now. Let's take a look at Angry Birds in action. There's a lot of tablets that really sort of give you lag and things like that. Let's actually see how fast this is in action. Very smooth. You don't see any sort of lagging or any sort of blurring when motion is uh, 
use in the video or games or anything like that. Yeah, and this Very is this smooth. is this is pretty amazing that on how actual smooth it actually is. See, there's really no glitching or anything like that. Okay, so although I'd like to spend the whole video just playing Angry Birds, I must resist. So, okay, so there we go in terms of, we've demonstrated some games there, and we've showed you some of the apps that actually come, uh, you know, with the tablet. Of course, you can use Skype to take advantage of the camera right here to do video conferencing. Uh, we won't show you that uh, in the video, but for those of you that have Skype and, and video chat with friends or colleagues, uh, you'll be able to do that. Uh, it does come with documents to go and it actually has the version here so all you have to do is just activate the trial and you can get document creating right away. Let's take a look at what video looks like on it. In order to play video because what we did is Elocity actually released a firmware update on the day that this unit actually came out. So it erased all of the video trailers and everything that actually came with the device. With the device, uh, for the first time, there are a bunch of pictures and there are a bunch of HD video. What we're going to do is we're actually going to plug a USB drive into the Velocity and uh, get some video sh going to show you how the video quality actually looks. And this is one of the nice aspects of the Velocity that, unlike a lot of tablets, you can just throw a USB flash drive right in there and, you know, load pictures, load videos, and a whole bunch of other content. And because the tablet, and especially this size, is designed to be on the go, you're going to be bringing this to school, and everybody rolls around with USB flash drives, so they say, you know, here's some music you got to check out, but I want you running, running away with my flash drive, right? Precisely. So, with this, it's good because you can just put things in here and go. So, let's take a look at... So just having the USB in there automatically puts it when you hit the gallery to actually see some content. So although it doesn't have its own video player, which is unfortunate, it sort of has music, audio, and pictures sort of all in one ga app called Gallery. So this is a video quality. You can see as well that there's no lag or anything like that. Uh, we do have a lot of lighting in here, but it does have an ambient light sensor, so depending on what way that you're actually turning it, the screen will actually dim. You can even see like this that the screen's brightening depending on which way that we're actually facing it. So that's actually kind of good. So the resolution on this is actually amazing and the, the fluidness of all of the the video and everything like that is really impressive. Overall, uh, I'm very impressed with this uh, tablet in terms of it being really fast and robust. Even when we were watching those YouTube videos, there was really no lag. There's no lag on this HD video or anything like that. Uh, there are some downsides, of course. Uh, although that they are very few, uh, as Nick mentioned, what do you? What's your perspective on the downsides of it? I really would like to see a camera on the device because I don't think it would be that big of a deal to put one on there just just for taking pictures and videos. You and mean on the back? On the back, exactly. I mean the front one. Don't get me wrong. I'd love the one at the front. It's perfect. We already took it for a couple of trial runs. We took pictures with it. We did some video chatting on it. it works like a dream. Nothing wrong with that. I just really would would like to see um, it, just anything, at least a 5 megapixel camera on the back to take some pictures and some videos because it has it has a lot of good points, like Marcus said, at, already. I mean, ha, I, I'd like to see a camera just because it would really make it an all-in-one device. Also, one more thing would be to have either a micro or a mini USB slot 
on the device there is no such thing there is just a USB 2.0 that would make um, maybe even charging a reality for this device right so you could see here that when we have our USB plugged in and we go to the file manager we can actually copy the contents on here to our any default folder. to the any type of folder but you have to do it sort of like one by one and so it makes it like really inconvenient to do it. So you could sort of get by this with putting content or, or loading ebooks uh, or content on here either via the USB. But what we would probably recommend is because you don't want to roll around with a USB in there is to get a micro SD card. It does allow you to load in side side load in content, but we'd probably recommend that you take advantage of the micro SD card rather than relying on the USB drive just for your day to day management and everything. Uh, I really like the design. It's really slick. Uh, all these buttons here on the side are tremendously responsive, being able to search, hit back. Uh, go to the options, the volume. Uh, because it's running Android 2.2, you can do things like uh, do live wallpapers. And that's super great because there's a lot of tablets that we've seen that don't allow you to do wall live wallpapers at all. Or do a lot of the you know cool multi-tab functions and things like that. There is a lot of debate on yahoo mail on this device and we could not actually set up a yahoo address for some reason there's some sort of bug with this device to actually get yahoo working properly with it so we were able to set up other email addresses but we were unable to do yahoo so if you're totally reliant on yahoo um, maybe this device isn't for you if you need to get all of your email on here Although all the other sort of Gmail, uh, Hotmail, um, even setting up your own POP3 or IMAP servers if you have emails associated with your own specific domain, it's fine. But you can see it's it's very responsive. Everything's pretty instantaneous. Games really look good because it is actually using a NVIDIA ULP GeForce graphics card. So that's sort of why everything was a little bit more fluid and solid with it. So... I really like the Elocity. I would recommend the A7 uh, almost to everybody for the price tag around $340. It's certainly one of not it's not one of the cheapest tablets that we've looked at, uh, but you do get a, a big bang for your dollar considering that better tablets than this cost 500 to 600 or even the new tablets coming out like the Motorola Zoom is around the area of six to about eight hundred dollars so of course it is running android 2.2 whereas 2.3 is the most recent version so you do have a bit of an older version but considering so many tablets that we've reviewed lately have what android 2.0 even so you can see this is definitely a plus in for the velocity yeah and so <clears throat> all in all uh, i recommend this device uh, the price isn't too much when you consider that so many of the other tablets along this price range are $50 cheaper. Don't do flash. Don't do embedded YouTube videos. Don't really give you that rich uh, internet experience. And this is really doing wonders with uh, the ULP G GeForce graphics card in here as well as the Tegra 2 processor. You saw everything that we did was, was really fast and that's what we like here. So... Uh, do you have anything left to say? I like uh, the, the list of specs. You see a lot of tablets have the same amount of specs, but this one really put it to good use. I would recommend this as well. Yeah, it, it, this one really feels current. The only uh, last thing I want to mention is when you run updates on this, you can actually update it over the air. You have to actually... Uh, run the update via a micro SD card. So the only way that you could run updates that are available uh, on the Elocity site, I believe the address is elocitynow.com slash updates. And you can install some updates that basically enhance Bluetooth and, and solve a bunch of bugs. 
and the only way to do it is through micro SD. But unlike a lot of Android devices that make you, you know, reboot the device, uh, hold up on the volume and do everything like that, this makes it really easy. You just basically hit update device with the SD cards in here and it runs a custom program that really makes updating your device really easy, but it does eliminate pictures, music and video on your device. So you want to make sure you back that sort of stuff up. So this has been a velocity review of the A7 tablet for Goody Reader, this is Marcus. This is Nick. Everybody take care.